please tell me how this mystery snail got from this beta tank up here all the way down here into the cichlid tank. Okay, so I know I haven't really been posting all that much lately just because I've been so busy with everything like with school and other things and stuff like that. And I haven't really had anything to really film. You know, I don't want to like make five or six videos a week that aren't that, you know, really well put together because I would rather post, you know, two or three really good videos a week that are very well put together and actually are interesting. But you guys know this as well as I do. I do not like buying fish from Petco, PetSmart, a lot of the chain stores. But there's a really, really good Petco uh, in a city that's not too far from me. And I always like to stop by there whenever I'm up in that city. Because it's a very good Petco. And a lot of times they have some really cool fish there. So, yesterday I was there. And I was actually just planning on getting a little Otis Sinkless for the beta team. Because, you know, I have the two little gold mystery snails in there. To help kind of clean up some. But they really don't help out as much as I would like them to. So, I was going to put an Otis Sinkless in there to kind of help clean up some of the algae that's in there. But then the guy was digging around in one of the tanks. And I noticed this little bitty catfish that was in there. Really cool looking catfish and I never seen one like it so I asked him what it was and he said it's called a honeycomb catfish and just by the looks of the catfish he looks like a catfish that will you know get pretty decent size and it turns out that he's almost full grown he's about an inch inch and a half and they only get up to about two inches they're peaceful catfish and do very good in community tanks so I said hey why not get him? So just for now, I'll put him in my La Lupe cichlid tank. And he's been doing really good in there overnight with the cichlid. But I am planning on moving him into my big live room tank eventually. Once I get the pike cichlid out of there. But for now, he's just going to kind of chill out here in the La Lupe cichlid tank. And I also did get the Otis Sinkless. And uh, he's been doing great in the beta tank overnight. And actually, there he is right there. Not hiding or anything. And these guys are great small tank, like nano tank algae eaters. And uh, this is the perfect tank for him. This tank grows quite a bit of algae you know off this fluval light and it's a small little five gallon so it's perfect for this little guy okay now i just noticed this please tell me how this mystery snail got from this beta tank up here all the way down here into the cichlid tank please tell me like please tell me how that happened anyways there's the la lupe cichlid you can see him right back there he's been doing great and everything but as for the catfish these guys are nocturnal so you know of course he's gonna hide a lot during the day and then come out when the lights are off at night to eat guys i legit just found him look at this he is right up here next to the heater. Just check that guy out though. That is one cool looking little catfish right there. And believe it or not, that is about as big as he's gonna get. I don't think I've ever seen a catfish with that kind of pattern. So yeah, he's a really cool looking catfish and that's why I got him. But also because he stays pretty small. Like, like I said, he's, he's almost full grown. So I'm gonna try to get you guys a little bit better look at him later on in the video and try to see if he'll eat some up uh, for now. I told you guys that I was ordering a light for one of my 10 gallon tanks. It was gonna be similar to Chungus's tank light. And yeah, it came in today, but um, they sent me two of them, so yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do with this other one. I'm probably going to put it on one of my other 10 gallons, uh, as long as this turns out how I think it will. Okay, yeah, this is going to be pretty nice. I think it is. How satisfying was that? Okay, so I believe the brand is called Nycru. So uh, yeah, it looks like a really, really nice looking light. So we're gonna go and put on the tank out there and go and plug it up and see how it looks. Okay, now I can already tell you, this light is going to absolutely light up this tank because of how close it is. Uh, but yeah, I think it's overall gonna be a really bright light. So let's go and turn it on. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Oh boy, that is bright. That is definitely bright. The light we had on here before does not even compare to how this one makes the tank look. These plants are going to absolutely love this light. And once we get the fish in here, they're going to show up really, really good as well. And by the way, what I am planning on putting in here are some Celestial Pearl Danios. I think it'll be a really good tank for those guys. You know, I am going to add some more plants to the tank. But for now, that is how it looks under the new light. Y'all, Bono Oscar and the Jack Dempsey are doing great together. And also our Pleco that we got in the last video, our chocolate bushy nose Pleco, he is doing great. You can see him right there. And I've already noticed some algae that he has cleaned off. You see, there was a good amount back there and he has already cleaned some of that off so yeah he is definitely doing his job but he looks great here and look at those bristles right there and that guy was flaring those up at me in the video go check out the video if you haven't because when i had him out of the water you'll see it in the video i had him out of the water in my hand and that guy was flaring those bristles up at me it was pretty crazy and by the way i got this cool looking rock right here so i'm probably going to end up taking the clay pot out of chungus's tank and putting that rock right like right in the middle of the tank but yeah he is looking great looking great on his new light as well and i got some blood worms we're going to go and feed this guy so what i do is i just kind of break up some blood worms in little bitty chunks like that and i just drop them in there one by one and watch this look at him he knows 
Watch him, watch him. Look at that. One's in there. He's got to find it now. Oh, oh, got it. So then he'll get that one. You know, a few will kind of break off. They'll float down to the bottom. And then once I leave my room, he'll go down there and start picking them up off the bottom. And I think he really enjoys doing that, honestly. So then we'll drop the other one in there. Got that one no problem at all. Look at him. Just love some blood worms. And then give him a little bit more. And that's not all that I feed him. I usually feed him even more than that. But just kind of give you an example of how I feed him. And then I'll give the beta and the neon some blood worms up here. Watch these guys go. Look at the neons. They are looking great in here. And uh, look at the beta. Oh, got it. Look at that guy. And then I'll go and feed the La Lupe cichlid down here. And I'm going to try to get the catfish to eat a few bloodworms as well. But you can see the cichlid right there. And I am going to get one more in here. It's just finding one at the right size. You see, I actually ordered one. And he came in about three times smaller than that guy. It just really didn't have a chance of working out with this big guy. He's gotten so territorial in here that I'm going to have to wait and get one that's either his size or... Or even bigger. But he looks really, really good in here off the Dragonstone and the Anubis and the Swords back there. And uh, he's pretty well doubled in size since I've got him. I really didn't notice it uh, until them tiny La Lupe came into the store. And then I was like, dang, mine has really grown quite a bit. Okay, so I don't know if this guy's going to eat or not, but I'm definitely going to try. So I'm going to put a few little bloodworms right here. And let's just see what he does. Look at this. This guy is like almost halfway out the water. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Look at him. He's moving. He's coming out of the heater. Yeah, so I don't think this guy's going to eat right now, being that he just got into the tank last night, and also because he's a nocturnal feeder. But hopefully, by next video, I can get this guy eating for you guys on camera. But hey, let's just appreciate him for the fish that he is, because he is a really, really cool-looking catfish. But that is going to be pretty much it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Say it with me if you know it. Be sure to drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And with that being said, you guys, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.